We've all heard that we need vitamin C, but what is it? How is it used by our bodies? Vitamin C is an organic molecule, which means it contains carbon just like the biomolecules we have learned about, such as carbohydrates and lipids. In fact, vitamin C looks a lot like glucose when you put all the carbons, oxygens, and hydrogens together. Vitamin C has two main functions. It acts as an antioxidant, and antioxidants prevent oxidation, or the loss of electrons from substances called free radicals. Oxidation can happen, for example, to the phospholipids in our cell membranes. Vitamin C prevents this from occurring, which is why we call it an antioxidant. Another function of vitamin C is to act as a coenzyme. As a coenzyme, it assists in the synthesis of collagen, which is a protein found in our skin, ligament, tendons, blood vessels, and gut, carnitine, which is important in the breakdown of lipids to be used for energy by our cells, and it also functions to assist in the synthesis of catecholamines, which include neurotransmitters in our brain involved in the fight-or-flight response. These neurotransmitters may make us feel energi energized or nervous and edgy. The fight-or-flight response was an important survival response for our ancestors, especially when confronted with immediate danger. A deficiency in vitamin C could lead to a condition called scurvy. Symptoms of scurvy include bleeding, poor wound closure, bruising easily, hair and teeth loss, joint pain, and swelling. This is related to the weakening of blood vessels, connective tissue, and bone which all contain collagen. A def deficiency in vitamin C could also lead to fatigue. This is because of diminished levels of carnitine, which is needed to derive energy from fat, or decreased synthesis of catecholamines, which keep you awake and aware. So what would happen if you took too much vitamin C? Too much vitamin C could lead to diarrhea, possibly kidney stones, Additionally, because vitamin C encourages the absorption of iron, too much could lead to iron toxicity. So how much vitamin C do we need then? Between 60 and 70 milligrams a day, with an upper limit of between 1,800 and 2,000 milligrams a day. So just to give you some perspective, there are 44.5 milligrams in a lemon, 57.3 milligrams in a mango, 69.7 milligrams in an orange, 79.1 milligrams in a grapefruit, and 8.4 milligrams in an apple. There's even 20.1 milligrams of vitamin C in an avocado. This means that you can eat at least one orange or grapefruit a day to get all the vitamin C you need, but you would have to eat over 28 oranges in a day to overdo your vitamin C. So it's hard to overdo vitamin C if you're only getting it from your food, which is one reason why it's a good idea to get your vitamins from food instead of supplements. Created using Powtoon.